Hello and welcome to Working Brick. And yes, I was able to get a video out uh, today. Even though, uh, yeah, the uh, real life issues I mentioned in that uh, community post, those are still ongoing and so there's probably still gonna be days without uploads. Uh, sorry about that. But yes, uh, I only have uh, one day to record this. So I decided to do a pretty simple mission. It's a uh, Luna Hard uh, rover recreation. And so uh, the Luna Hot program, it was the extension of the uh, Soviet uh, Luna probes uh, program that uh, sent uh, two rovers to the surface of the moon. There were... actually, there were... there, were, uh, there was one other attempt at launching a Luna Hot rover that uh, failed during launch. And there was another uh, rover that was built, but uh, was not launched due to uh, funding issues. Yes, uh, two rovers were successfully launched, and a Luna Hod that translates to a moonwalk. And so the uh, launch vehicle was a uh, proton rocket, with a uh, block the upper stage to assist the, uh, the Luna Hod uh, spacecraft in getting to the moon. And I found that for some reason, the uh, block D, or block A, in Hentari is with Janus Q. It's significantly overpowered, and if everything goes right, I would have actually been able to do a uh, lunar return mission with this. So, maybe that's an issue on my part. But we've already reached orbit. Now, it's just a case of plotting the maneuver node to the Mon. And, for some reason, when I'm, all, when I'm using during this queue, the uh, Delta V readout provided by, uh, provided by the uh, stock Delta V readout is always inaccurate. So I'm, I'm going off of the uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux uh, readout. And I uh, I found out that my maneuver, I uh, I plotted a bit too, uh, too early and so yeah, I had to uh, move it a bit, but I was able to correct it. And so, I've uh, plotted our circularization burn. And by the way, I'm using the mod uh, Kerbalism, so I have uh, limited engine ignitions and various other part failures. And there's gonna be a pretty uh, serious part failure pretty soon. So we're doing our transmunar injection. And it's a fairly long burn using the uh, block day upper stage as well as the uh, third stage of Proton. And now, I am not, I'm not sure why the engine is going to fail, because, yeah, spoiler alert, the uh, Block Day engine uh, mysteriously uh, suddenly uh, fails. I'm not quite sure why it had plenty of ignitions left, and it had plenty of burn time left, I'd assume. But then again, engines can fail randomly, it's just the ignitions and burn time, when you exceed those, the engine is more likely to fail. So I'm just doing some corrections and the engine exploded. However, I, there's plenty of Delta V left in the uh, main, uh, on the uh, Luna probe for the, which is the uh, bus for the uh, Luna Hod uh, rover. So I'm just using this RC, this RCS, I'm just gonna continue the mission like nothing happened. But Shiver. Hmm. Well, really, this, yeah, no, this, this shows that um, there's probably some balancing issues here. Because, uh, yeah, I feel like I probably could have done this mission without needing the block day in the first place. So if it can go perfectly fine without it. And also, my uh, periapsis have randomly changed. So yeah, my uh, capture burn was a bit uh, less efficient than I uh, planned on it being. However, again, we still have plenty of Delta V.
Now the orbital insertion burn, it's a pretty standard, and it's fairly long burn. But uh, yeah, that uh, goes as uh, usual, or well, as expected. And I uh, plot my uh, deorbit burn. However, I fail to account for the fact I need to be in communications with the Kerbal Space Center to uh, complete or to uh, perform my burn. And I plotted it on the uh, far side of the bond. So I actually need to uh, time warp a decent amount to, to when I actually get a, com a communications uh, link with the uh, Kerbal Space Center. But yeah, I'm able to uh, start my deorbit and uh, go for my uh, landing. So you may have noticed how the uh, wheels on the uh, Lunahod rover, they keep randomly uh, rotating, basically. And for some reason I couldn't uh, disable the steering on them, so whenever I made a uh, yaw input, the uh, wheels would uh, steer. I actually had to... I used some action groups to disable the uh, motors on the wheels, however uh, I had some trouble re-enabling them, which you'll see pretty soon. Now, I was a bit concerned that I maybe uh, started my landing burn a bit late, but pretty soon here I'm going to uh, pitch up a bit, so I uh, start cancelling out my vertical velocity a bit more. And our uh, drop tanks are empty, so we can adjust in those. And at this point I thought I could uh, continue to just point retrograde eh, to uh, to slow down the rest of the way. And we're going vertical now. And so I have parallax installed, so there's uh, tons of uh, boulders on the moon. And so I wanted to avoid landing on those, only because there's a risk of the probe tipping over. I did some testing. The rover is not meant for going off roading. And um, that wasn't the cleanest. Uh, Descent, slight descent there, and but yes, I can uh, touch down, and now I can use the action groups I uh, programmed to first deploy the antenna, and uh, well, what would the oh, yeah the antenna it's uh, now uh, tracking the carbon, and I can deploy the uh, solar panel uh, lid. The uh, ramp for the rover to get down. And then I can detach the rover, except my wheels are gonna act a bit weirdly. The uh, motors are still disabled. And somehow the rover starts moving. And uh, we kind of end up going a bit sideways. And uh, getting off the uh, landing platform doesn't go as smoothly as I wanted it to. But we end up on the surface, uh, fairly unharmed. And I have to manually enable the motors because for some reason my action group didn't work. Yeah, now we can uh, drive around the surface. At this point I realized I actually landed on a, a, fairly, uh, a, a fairly decent incline. Yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And goodbye!